Hi everyone, Sherry here again today with another video for 2D Designs. Today I'm going to be using the garden background die and I'm going to be making two cards. This die measures about a four and an eighth by about five and a half. So the width of it is not quite that of a normal A2 size card, but we're going to make it work anyway. So I cut out the die uh, using a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm going to use my two-way glue pen, and I am just going to rub the glue pen all along the back side of the die cut, and then I'm going to wait for it to dry. Uh, if you let it dry, the um, adhesive is temporary as opposed to putting it on while the glue is still blue. So here you can see I'm testing the tackiness of it. And I have another piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I am going to center and adhere the die cut on. And now I'm going to be doing a little bit of ink blending. And I'm going to be using the Distress Inks. I am using Broken China. I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to do that upper left corner. And I am making sure to put a little bit of extra pressure on it because I want to get down in between the die cut as well as around the outer edges of the die cut. Next, I'm going to be using some cracked pistachio and just going in rainbow order basically. Again, blending that in, making sure I get down in between the sections of the die cut. Blend that back out with a little bit of broken china. And then I'm going to move on to the twisted citron. This technique would um, also work well and um, probably, you know, go on a little smoother if you use the Distress Oxide inks since they are a, um, they do have a pigment ink in them. However, I did not yet have all of these particular colors, thus the reason for using the regular Distress inks. Now I've moved on to some squeezed lemonade. Gonna work that in, blend that into the twisted citron. And now I'll move on to the carved pumpkin. And you'll see here I got a little heavy-handed in one area however it's easy enough to blend that out I'll just go back to the squeezed lemonade add a little bit more of that and smooth out that area And last but not least, I'm going to move on to the candied apple. I'm going to use a post-it note just to keep my fingerprints off of what I've already done there. Get that candied apple worked in. And areas of the video I did speed up, otherwise we would be here all day. Now I can remove that die cut since we um, used the temporary 
side of the two-way glue, and I have a negative and I have a positive. I have a regular A2 size card here, and I did trim the top and the bottom of that panel. And now I'm gonna bring in the word set dies from Tootie. This one is birthday. And I'm gonna bring in the happy. And both of these are the largest of the two dies that are included in each set. And I just found some light teal colored cardstock and cut out the happy birthday. I did put some stick it adhesive on the back before I ran it through. I did both the panel and the die cut words. So I'm gonna peel off that release paper. I can get a hold of the corner here. And I'm gonna adhere this panel to my card base. Sorry, I'm a little off camera here. And now I'm going to peel the release paper off the back of the words. I'm going to use my tweezers to help me get started. And I'm gonna lay those down on the card and get them into position. That piece did not wanna cooperate. So again, we'll get the tweezers to help us get that started. Pop it off. Just pressing them on slightly until I make sure that I have everything straight and in the exact spot that I want to adhere it. And then I'll give it a little firm pressure to make sure it stays and does not lift off. And I'm gonna use my bone folder just to help me a little bit there. And then I need to add the dot for the eye. So I'm peeling off the release paper. Sorry, again, I'm off camera. And then I'm gonna use my little pokey tool to take it over to the card. I had these um, sequins in my stash, so I'm gonna use some matte medium to adhere all the sequins. And it too did not wanna cooperate, so if this should happen to you and you get a big blob, just pick up a little bit and get rid of it. get those finished up and here is card number one for card number two I'm gonna go back in with my glue pen here and I'm gonna add some more glue to the back side of the die and I'm not really covering every little bit of it I am making sure though that I do touch all of those little curly cues because I don't want those to pop up. Again, another A2 size card here. I'm gonna line that up at the top. And I get a little white border on both sides. And then I'm going to get another piece of Nina Solar White 
and the stamp set that I'm using is Thankful Heart. It's Simon's Stamp. And I'm also going to use Simon's Stamp High Dive Ink to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use my Misty so that I can double stamp if needed, which you can see here I did. So that's the beauty of having the Misty. And ink up the stamp again and give it a good press perfect now I'm going to bring in the um, the scallop stitch nesting ovals and I'm going to cut out my sentiment with that die and then I am going to take some Nouveau adhesive and I am going to glue this to the front of this panel. And there you have it. This is going to be card number two. I thank you for joining me today. And be sure to pop on over to 2ddesigns.com. And if you need daily inspiration, go to 2ddesignsblog.com. Thanks for joining. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.